Hey, welcome back to TMI with Terry, the channel that shares way too much information. Today, I am going to share some information on something that could be life-saving. All right, I am going to openly talk about my experience with colonoscopies and my experience of seeing people in my family struggle with colon cancer. All right, the reason I thought it was a great time and a great time to talk about it was recently the passing of Chadwick Boseman. He's the actor in Black Panther. He passed away just recently at age 43. Yeah, I know you're thinking that is young. And the interesting thing is that I always thought colon cancer was something that mostly killed older people. I thought it was, you know, you live long enough, you get colon cancer. If you don't die from something else, right, the flu, corona, whatever's going on, then I always thought you're older, you die of colon cancer. Well, that is not true. Colon cancer, I have noticed that my family has affected people at a much younger age. So I want to just put out there some awareness about colon cancer. We're going to talk about signs, symptoms. We're going to talk about the progress they have made in medicine with colonoscopies and what a blessing that is. So let's get into it right now. Okay, so colon cancer um, I was doing some research on it with the American Associate Cancer Association. They were talking about how it is the second leading cancer that kills people, the most people in the United States, second leading. But it also talks about that colon cancer can also be the most prevented. And why do they say that? They're saying if you have any family history of someone who has colon cancer or has had it in, the, in your family, and if you have any signs and symptoms, then you should go earlier than maybe most people and go be screened and have a colonoscopy. So how that works is a long time, a while back, uh, it used to be around age 50. If you were healthy, you didn't have any family history, you didn't have any signs and sim symptoms, you would go at 50 years old and have your first screening of, of a colonoscopy. And if they found something, they cut the polyps out, they send them off to a testing place and they test to see because every pulp can be a little different and some aren't cancerous and some are what they call precancerous, meaning that they can become cancer. Um, it takes about eight to 10 years to become cancer. Also, the interesting thing is that just changed. They just changed the limit or the age to 45 years old to go in and be tested for your first time of colon cancer. Now, that is only if you're not at risk. That is only if you have no family history. That's only if you have no signs and symptoms. So I want you to think to yourself right now, do you have any family history of colon cancer? Now we're gonna go over signs and symptoms. Signs and symptoms are kind of things that you think, well, I deal with that ever so often. How do I know that's not colon cancer? Well, here's what they are. So. If you are having any abdominal pain, that could be a sign or a symptom of colon cancer. The other one is they want you to pay attention to your stool, right? To your going to the bathroom, to your number two. If you are constantly constipated for a long amount of time, that is, and it's not normal, and you notice that it started to change and it's not something that you used to be a normal bowel movement for you, keep that in mind. Also, they talk about your stool can be thin and skinny. That's something to also keep in mind. And then also uh, blood in your stool and excessive gas. These are the signs and symptoms of colon cancer. Now, that's why sometimes it is hard to catch it if you don't. For me, we were able to catch and I was able to go in at 25 years old and have a precancerous polyp taken out. But unfortunately, that came at the cost of having someone in my family have colon cancer. That's why I went in at a younger age. My grandma died at 53 of colon cancer. My sister died at 33 of esophageal stomach and colon cancer. And unfortunately, my cousin just passed away this spring of colon cancer at age 37. So cancer doesn't care. It doesn't care if you thought it was an old person disease. It doesn't care if you're young, old, tall, skinny, white, black, Asian, it doesn't care if you're wealthy, poor, doesn't care if you're religious, not religious. It doesn't care. It has no agenda. It doesn't, 
it is part of our human experience is that we can get sick and have these things. So the only thing you really can do is be aware of your body. Recognize if something is not normal. And the only person who can truly be your advocate is you. You're the only person in that body. It's you. If you really don't think it's normal, you're the only person who can speak out for yourself. And I know it's hard because sometimes you go to the doctor and sometimes you feel like they think you're crazy. And But if you really know something's off, you have to be persistent. You have to keep going. So those are the signs and the symptoms. And if you're having any of those signs and symptoms, please do not be afraid to contact your family practice doctor and see if they can get a colonoscopy set up for you. And if you have colon cancer in your family. Now, here's the thing. Everyone's probably thinking, well, if I have those things, then yeah, of course I'll go get a colonoscopy early. A lot of us are scared to have procedures. So I'm going to talk about the procedure side of the colonoscopy. So what they do is they take a little camera and they put it up in your colon and they look around and they try to see if there's any irregularities and if you have any polyps. And if they find a polyp, it's pretty awesome. They go ahead and they snip it off. Now, if they find something that's more extreme and they in your cancer, you do have cancer and it has gotten to a stage where they can't just snip it off there, then that's something that you would go and talk to your doctor more, unfortunately, and you would talk about um, what you would do for your cancer, what type of treatments you would have. So colonoscopies, I think, can scare people, but I'm going to tell you the three reasons I love and I am so grateful for the colonoscopies and I'm grateful for the doctors that have given it to me and my last colonoscopy I ripped my IV out yeah guys I ripped it out I don't remember right because they give you all these drugs and after this anyways the reason I love them is at age 25 I was able to go in unfortunately because of the passing of my sister my husband was in medical school and he said you need to go in and my family and not medical family we are not doctor people which is ironic because I married a doctor but my mom would just have probably like given me a garlic pill because she did do that when I had a parasite. Yes, this is a true story. But anyway, so I went in at 25 and long and behold, I had a precancerous polyp. So after that, now every three years, I have a colonoscopy. At first, I was frustrated, overwhelmed with it. And now I'm just so grateful because recently I just had a colonoscopy. I think close, it's been about two years and they found three more precancerous polyps. You know what's really wonderful is that taking out those polyps made it so I do not have colon cancer. A precancerous polyp, yes, it's small, it's precancerous, it wasn't anything really too big at that moment when I was 25. Go, they say it takes about eight to 10 years to grow into full-blown cancer. I also would have been in my 30s, like my sister and like my beautiful cousin and it would have been, I saw how much it affected their family. And unfortunately, they didn't win that battle with colon cancer in the sense that they are able to still live. Um, all the women who had colon cancer in my family have passed away from it. So I am so grateful that it saved my life having a colonoscopy. Second wonderful thing about it is who does not want a good cleanse? Women are always talking about how they have a cleanse, how they can lose weight. Here's what you do. You plan it right around Thanksgiving. You have turkey, you have pie, you have rolls, you have the extra pudding that you wanna have. And then you get to do your cleanse for your colonoscopy. There it is, chicken, turkey, whatever you're having, gone, pie gone, three pounds gone, great cleanse. So that's the second thing I love about it. The third thing, but not the least, it is definitely one of my favorite parts of a colonoscopy outside of not having colon cancer, is I love best nap of your life, best nap ever like especially after having kids. I started after my second colonoscopy, my third one was like, you know what? I'm looking forward to this. I get to go and no one's really bugging me. Yes, I had to have a cleanse, but I got to lose three pounds. I get to go have a great nap. I don't have any kids jumping on me and I got a break for that day. And I got to make sure that my colon was clean and that I wasn't having to go home and tell my family that I had colon cancer. It's really heartbreaking. I remember my sister had it tell her children. I remember when my cousin texted me to ask my niece what it was like when her mom told her that she had colon cancer. And I remember watching them all see their mothers so sick with it. 
and unfortunately pass away from it. So colon cancer, it doesn't care who you are, but I promise you the most important thing is please listen to your bodies. If you are having any signs and symptoms that I talked about today, please do not forget about, just listen. If it doesn't seem normal, contact your doctor, talk to them about colon cancer. And I hope this brings more awareness to people. And also, I just wanna put out there, I love you, Grandma. That's my grandma that passed, my grandma Irene. I love my sister, Misty, who also passed away, and my cousin, Jenny. I love you guys. And I hope this video can bring some awareness to people of colon cancer. And I hope it'll help people who maybe have been super scared to have a colonoscopy and they're maybe supposed to be having one because of family history, please do not be afraid. Be more afraid of having colon cancer. Remember, there are three wonderful things about colonoscopies. One, you don't have colon cancer. They can take care of it if you find it early enough and cut it out. Two, the other wonderful thing is you get a great cleanse. And three, best nap of your life. Okay, guys, please do not forget to like it. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Please, I would love this to go around, and I hope this will bring some awareness to colon cancer and to help people understand that colonoscopies are a life-saving procedure. And I am so grateful, and thank you to all the doctors that did my, my colonoscopies, especially the ones when I pulled out my IV. All right, sorry. All right, guys. It was good talking to you. Come back to Team I with Terry Lee. And do not forget, this is the place where I overshare.